somebody always asks, where do I get my textures from? How do I get textures to put on my model? Well, the answer is you have to get your own textures. You, They are 2D images, just like these you can see here. Not all of these are suitable for constructor texturing. Um, they're 2D images that are on your computer, just like a photograph or anything else you would put on your computer. You, I use uh, Thumbs Plus to to browse my images. Um, you can use whatever you want. You can use Windows Explorer if you want to. Um, and then when you start up Constructor, which I have it here somewhere, there it is. I'm going to wait for it to start up. Then to add new images to a folder, you will have to actually tell Constructor where the images are and only you are going to know where they are. Everybody puts their images in different places on their computer. They might be in your My Pictures folder. They might be in your Textures folder. I, I don't know where your images are, but you're, you can add them. The way you do that is you click over here on this button. You click Browse and Add a New Album. So here I'm going to add a wood textures album for example and say OK and then I come over here and you can either add all textures that are in a directory to the album or you can add specific textures I'm just going to add specific textures I know that they're on my drive F over here in 2D art under textures and wood. So then I find the ones that I want and I add them like so. So you have to click them one at a time. And there's another one. There's some cedar boards in a diagonal angle. I have some polished boards. I can open those. Here's some oak boards diagonal. some petrified wood add that uh, pine bark vertical it's kind of an interesting texture and maple we'll add maple so that's not a very high quality image actually maybe you'll try mahogany okay so now I have quite a variety of wood textures here. If I want to add another one, I can add another one. I can add a new one called metal. Okay, and I can do the same thing. I have to go up, I have to find my metal textures. It's an aged metal, brushed metal, there's a copper, it's embossed gold, a hammered brass and here's a, a liquid silver so iron oxide I also have a copper oxide and a rippled silver and so now I have some metal textures to work with so that's how you add them now if I want to use my metal textures on a model, I click on Make Active, and now you can see them over here in this window. And when I'm done loading textures, I can either at this point I can add some more. It's a spun copper. So I can add more and then close that. So now then I can choose from the metal textures that I just imported. So if I make an object, I can now add those textures. Whatever is active will automatically be added to the texture or to the object that you make. Uh, if I want to change that, I select a different one, click apply, and whatever I've just selected will be added to the brush that's selected. And that's how you add textures and import different textures. If I want to change the folder that I'm using, let's say I want to use the wood texture instead. I decide maybe I don't want that to be metal, I want it to be wood.
so I just change it just like that. Now they're they're changed. So it's just a matter of clicking on folders, selecting what's there, and then clicking on apply when you choose the one that you want. Simple as that. <laughs>